Let's take a look at the lesson, Interpret Line Plots. It says, Coach Angela records the number of chin-ups done by each student. How many chin-ups did the least number of students get? So I see here that there's one chin-up, two chin-ups, three chin-ups, four chin-ups, and five chin-ups. So how many chin-ups did the least number of students get? Well, I know that each X represents one student. So I'm trying to find the group that has the least number of X's. Do you see it? Yes, right here. How many chin-ups did those students do? Yes, four. This number down here shows how many chin-ups they did. And it shows that two students did four chin-ups. So how many chin-ups did the least number of students get? Four. Next, it says Dahlia serves sushi at a party and records how many pieces each person eats. How many people ate sushi? Oh, so here it shows us how many pieces each person ate. And each one of these X's represents a person. But the question they're asking is, how many people ate sushi? So all of these people ate sushi. They just ate different amounts of pieces, but that doesn't matter. We want to know how many people in all. So let's count all of the X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. It's 34. It's a lot of people eating sushi. Hannah sells tickets at an amusement park and records the number that each person buys. How many people bought tickets? Well, here it shows that some people bought four tickets, others bought five or six or seven or eight. But they're not asking about a specific number of tickets. They're saying how many people bought tickets. So all of these people bought tickets. So let's see how many people that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 people bought tickets. Here it says, Tyler serves sushi at a party and records how many pieces each person eats. How many pieces did the greatest number of people eat? Well, which group here has the greatest number of people? It would be the one that is the tallest. Which one is the tallest? Yes, this one. That has the greatest number of people. And as we can see, that group ate five pieces of sushi. So that would be how many pieces the greatest number of people ate. Ethan is a teacher and records the number of days that each of his students are absent. How many days did the least number of students miss? Okay, so let's find the least number of students first. So which one of these groups is the shortest or the smallest? Yes, this one here. So let's circle it. Now they said, how many days did the least number of students miss? So we found the least number of students. How many days did they miss? Yes, five. This problem says, Madeline owns a store and records the number of items each customer purchased. How many items did the lowest number of customers purchase? So here are the number of items, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And what is the lowest number of customers in these groups? We have this group of six, this group of seven, this group of eight, this group of nine, and this group of 10. Yeah, seven. No one purchased seven items. So how many items did the lowest number of customers purchase? Seven, because no one purchased seven. There were zero. Caleb is studying bees. He records how many flowers each bee visits before returning to the hive. How many flowers did the least number of bees visit? All right, so these X's represent the amount of bees which one of these groups has the least number of bees? 
three, four, five, six, or seven. Yeah, seven. Seven has none. No bees visited that flower. So, seven. Jacob is a teacher and records the number of days that each of his students are absent. How many students are in the class? Ah, so now they want to know how many students there are in all. Each of these X's represent a student, so let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So the answer is seventeen. There are seventeen students. Zachary owns a store and records the number of items each customer purchased. How many customers made a purchase? Oh wow, so they're asking us how many customers made a purchase and all. We know the number of items they purchased are here, but they want to know how many customers made a purchase. All of these X's are customers. Let's count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So there's my answer, 29. Braden is recording how many solar panels are on each house in his neighborhood. How many houses are in his neighborhood? All right, so this is the number of solar panels on each house, but they want to know how many houses there are in the neighborhood, so we need to count how many houses there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I see the number 28 right here. Fantastic work today, my friends.